Hello everyone, welcome. Um, once again, this is Ashfaq Alam and I am uh, today being assisted by uh, Musa Villa over here. And uh, the next thing that we are going to learn about is called dark IV measurement using the IV measurement system. So for uh, solar cell research, we often need to find out the diode characteristics of the cell. So uh, it can be uh, based on just one particular semiconductor layer, it can be based on multiple semiconductor layers or a proper cell to find out the diode characteristics, how good of a diode the devices are, we need to find that out. And for that, the technique that we use in our lab is called the dark IV measurement. Now, the dark in the, in, from, the from the name of it, the dark IV, we can see that there is uh, no part of illumination or light involved here. So we basically do the IV measurement, uh, IV measurement under dark condition. So for that, once again, we use this system. So um, for dark IV measurement, we basically have uh, um, some parameters that we look for by doing the measurements. So once we can find out the curve from uh, the IV curve from the dark IV measurement, we can plot it differently and we can basically find out different uh, parameters such as if you can take a look here uh, series resistance or RS, shunt resistance or RSH we can find out the reverse saturation current we can find out the rectification factor by plotting them differently so all we need to do is basically in order to plot these graphs we need to extract the data and that data extraction is done using this instrument over here. Now this document uh, has basically talked about uh, how the measurements are done and what are the formulas involved. I'm not going to talk in details right now about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this uh, document at the uh, description section of this video so that you can actually take a look at it when you, whenever you uh, need it. So um, for the dark IV measurement, the first thing we need, of course, is a diode. We know all the solar cells are some kind of diodes, so we will we'll use one of our available solar cells uh, that we have. For dark IV measurement, we don't need to calibrate the system because there is no involvement of light, so we do not need to basically find out the uh, irradiance of the light or the input power uh, of the, uh, to the uh, solar cell. So it is done on the dark condition, it is much more straightforward. So what we do is we first place the device that we are going to measure. So the device that we are going to measure today is this one. And like I have uh, mentioned previously is that for dark IV once again we basically need to connect the device to the two uh, conducting terminals. One is the front contact, the transparent one, which is the FTO layer, and the other is the back contact or the golden, one of these golden dots over here. So once again, we place it here. Then put the front contact using this micro positioner at the left. We make it tighten a little bit using the micro positioning system turning it to anti-clockwise and then we bring the back contact using this probe and position it on the on one of the dots over here then because it is a dark IV measurement, we of course need to put it in dark. There is no lamp, so we are basically not giving any light. One very important thing, if you look down over here, there, there is a shutter, manual shutter, apart from the electronic one, okay? So this manual shutter needs to be also turned down because there is this window. We don't want any light to go inside, so we basically manually shut down the shutter over here so that there is no light inside this chamber so it is completely dark inside so when that's done we come here 
because we do not have any lamp in here, we don't need to turn on any of these power supplies for the lamps. The only thing that we turn on is the IV measurement system. So we are turning that on. So once the IV measurement system is up and running, we come here, we start our tracing system which is the RERA tracing software. Once again, we click on this icon over here. After we click on this icon, the RERA tracing system is going to start. Now, for the dark IV measurement system, it is much more straightforward, but you can basically get a lot more information uh, in terms of the electronic quality of your devices, the diode quality, uh, how the device may behave or what can be improved for the device. These are the many different um, parameters you can find out from there. And therefore, the dark IV measurement is so important. And the dark IV measurement can also be done not just on uh, a complete solar devices. You can just do it uh, on a on just one semiconductor layer to find out other properties such as what type of semiconductor it is it. Is it N-type or P-type depending on uh, its uh, interaction with the back contact. What type of contact it is. Is it, a, is it an ohmic contact? Is it a, a short key contact? All these type of information you can find out from dark IV measurement. So it's a very important uh, measurement system. Um, yes, the illuminated IV measurement system gives you the idea of the overall uh, device that you have fabricated, but the dark IV measurement system gives you many more information about the individual uh, layers as well as the overall cell. So now our uh, software is already open. So for dark IV measurement, we know that our our um, probes are connected to the front end of the IV measurement. So in the hardware setting, in the carve tracer, from general, we select front because it is connected to the front end. Then we go to measurement over here. And all we need to do is basically, we do not need to set up irradiance or anything because there is no irradiance involved. All we need to do is basically change this to dark curve and you can always select the type of device and you can just keep it as it is. You don't need to worry too much about it, but since our device is cadmium telluride, I'm selecting it over here, okay? So the next thing before we start, we basically once again click on auto sweep range and then we click start. So now our device is a circular device which has a diameter of 2 millimeter. So we click this. So the aperture area is already selected, which is not very important for us, but still let's select it. Then comes naming the device. We are making the name as sample 2 or sample 1 dark. Okay. So we are make, just naming the um, sample. And then the next thing is we click on start. So the IV measurement curve will be generated after the measurement is done. Now the IV measurement, this is the dark IV measurement curve that has already been um, formulated by the system. But basically what we need to do is basically we need to save it in an Excel format. So we need to click on the name, right click on the name and then click export curve. Once we click on export curve, there is this new window opened. We can just let's say cadmium telluride dark. Okay. And the format is IVT format. We don't need to change it just to see where it's saved. It is saved under my name over here and I click on save. So the next thing we need to do is, and this applies for even the uh, illuminated IV also, is that we need to, after saving it, we need to see whether it has been saved or not. 
so we go to documents uh, we go to my name and there should be the Cadman Tilray Dark saved here we click to open it see whether it has saved all the data we need and like we can see here all the IV measurement data are available here so now using this data we can actually plot a linear linear curve we can plot a log linear curve and both of these curves can actually give us uh, different types of parameters like this document dictates so this is how the dark measurement is done for any of the semiconductor device uh, based on uh, substrate technique using the RERA tracing software and RERA tracing system. So thank you very much and I will see you in some later session again. Thank you.